to my channel and hello if you're new here. Thank you so much for joining. So today we're going to do a daily vlog. It's going to be very bookish centred, just doing loads of book stuff and potentially, well I was going to say a bit of book shopping but I definitely shouldn't be on book shopping. I'm on a book buying ban but I really fancy some matcha and I've run out and I haven't ordered any off Amazon so in my head I was like I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a matcha and then I thought well if I'm going to go all the way into town I may as well go to the bookshop so Waterstones and the works. We'll just see what they've got. We'll just see. I'm just looking. I'm not buying. But I thought we could ha have a little bookish day. The weather is so nice today. Like, it's been so miserable for the last couple of weeks. But all of a sudden, it's blue skies, sunshine. It's very fresh. Like, it's not the warmest. But it's just such a beautiful autumn day. So I thought definitely want to get outside in the fresh air, get some matcha, go and see some books. And I've also got some really exciting PR packages as well to open with you. I just recently have had an influx of, like, publisher mail, PR, things like that. So I thought I could unbox some of them with you. I do know what one of the packages is and they are some of the most beautiful special editions you have ever seen. I thought we could do some unboxings together and I did also buy some books before I implemented my book buying ban. It was before that. But I did also buy some books from Amazon so they're still unboxed. So we can open those together as well and do a little tiny mini book haul and yeah I just got loads of bookish things I need to do. I need to kind of tidy my bookshelves if I've got time and I also want to sort out my new Kindle stickers so lots of things that I need to get done today. Before we get started I just want to say thank you to Miss Blue Jewelry for collaborating with me on this video today. So you will have probably seen in probably every single YouTube video that I've made in the last couple of months that I have had this necklace on. I mean you might not have noticed it. I'm always wearing jewellery anyway so you might not have noticed it but I've actually been wearing this necklace for the best part of like a month if not a bit longer now and so I can safely say because I've been wearing it for so long how good quality the jewellery pieces are so I literally shower two to three times a day sometimes because obviously I've got horses I go to the morning I go to them in the morning and in the afternoon so I'm showering all the time I'm doing things at the yard and this necklace has not tarnished it's not dulled down or anything like that it is such good quality for the amount of showering and everything that I I've been doing with it. All of their pieces come in this really cute packaging. I love the blue, really cute little boxes. So if you are going to gift them to anybody, then they would make a really beautiful gift. And I really like as well, like the um the actual bags are really good quality, like they've got embossing on them. And then also another piece of jewelry, which is this ring. So it comes in a little box like this, and you just open it up like that. And you may have seen me wearing this a couple of times in some of my videos. I haven't worn this as much because obviously with it being a ring and riding and doing all my mucking out and stuff, I haven't wanted to damage it or anything. But I have worn it to the stables a couple of times because I forgot to take it off. And it genuinely has not scratched or chipped or anything. So it is really good quality jewellery. This is such a good price point for jewellery that you can wear every single day, not worry about it tarnishing. And it's very good quality. Everything's done to such a high finish as well. Like I've worn this ring around my friends and they were absolutely blown away by it. I think one of my friends actually thought it was an engagement ring. I was like, no. <laughs> So they very kindly shared a discount code with me for you guys if you do want to purchase anything from their website. So it's Poppy15, which will get you 15% off. And obviously with Christmas around the corner, I dare I say it, but it is creeping up on us fast. If you are thinking about getting anybody some jewellery as a gift or anything for Christmas, then you can use that code to save yourself some money. So I will leave the link down below and also the link to the two pieces of jewellery. Right, let's get into the unboxing. I don't even know where to begin. I just can't even... Actually, I'm going to move you so I can sit down. This exciting package was very kindly sent to me by... Sophie Grace and oh my god I'm opening it upside down <laughs> and this is a new dark romance which I think is like about a secret society and everything and it's called Secrets and it comes with the most amazing art prints I don't even know if I can show them on here I don't know maybe I'll like hide like I don't know I'll try and block some of it out but this is the book which was actually signed it says Poppy welcome to the circle love Sophie it's dark romance secret society and that's all I know so far but I've seen so many reviews so actually I had had this in my Amazon cart for the last couple of weeks but obviously I was on a book buying ban and she actually then reached out to me and I was like I can't actually believe this is happening because I had it in the cart ready to go for when I was going to break my ban so thank you so much Sophie for sending this to me bookmark I always say this in my unboxings I love it when I get a bookmark because I always always lose them I'm currently down to one bookmark and I've kind of destroyed it a bit so always happy to have another bookmark then she very kindly wrote me a little handwritten message just to say thank you and then it comes with the most amazing character art so that's the first one some of these I don't know I mean this one I'm sure will be fine that is the second one I don't even know if I can show this one I'll just like 
you won't you can't even see this is the special edition book so they were kindly sent to me by a girl who does custom sprayed edges for books she does the most amazing sprayed edges they literally came in this gigantic box so there's four books in here and then also some little pieces of like merch so she sent these really cool pins to match some of the books that i got that one's so cool and then there's this one as well. That one, this one's really cool too. Then it also came with this really cool letter, which actually had a, a wax seal on it. And then the four books. So oh, honestly, guys, you just wait. These are amazing. So I did actually get two of the same book, which is the Society for Soulless Girls. Look at these books. So there is foiling all over the all over the dust jacket, and the sprayed edges are just to die for. Like. They go all the way around as well. They are absolutely incredible. So obviously the second book is the same. And then it has the most beautiful end page artwork as well. And then the naked hardback has this most amazing foiling on it. They are so stunning. So this is my favourite book in the package. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful books I own. This is actually a version of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Just look at this book. I'm in awe of it. There are the sprayed edges which do go all the way around again. And then that artwork on the back. It is just incredible. The naked hardback is beautiful but the end paper artwork as well is Honestly, I love collecting books. This is the naked hardback with all the foiling. It's so pretty. And then the end paper artwork. That's just amazing. And it's got a different one on the back. And the last book that she very kindly sent me was To Cage a God, and this is a fantasy book. I've actually heard of this, but I don't actually really know too much about what it's, what it's actually about, but I have heard of this book. Um, so that is the dust jacket and then the back and the sprayed edges which again go all the way around which is amazing because some like sometimes with fairy loot and things some of their sprayed edges don't go all the way around they just go on this side so to have them all the way around it's just the extra effort that's put into it and then the end paper artwork this is the same on both ends and then the naked hardback. It's just amazing. I will also link her Instagram down below because she has more than just these books that are for sale on her website. There's a lot for like schools and libraries. So if you can support her, then please do. Next is some publisher mail from Harper Collins, which is really exciting. So let's open this. How satisfying are they? So they've sent me uh the the little coffee shop of terrors which looks like that perfect time of the year for something like this and on the back it says one new owner one hot barista and one seriously weird coffee shop this kind of reminds me of is it like legends and lattes bookshops and bone dust or something are those books similar to what this is about you know like a sort of magical coffee shop and a lot happens in it that wouldn't happen on the outside of it. I don't really know, but it's the perfect time of year for something like that. So thank you very much, Harper Collins, to, for sending me this. I love the play on words. The Little Coffee Shop of Terrors. Isn't there a film which is called like The Something Shop of Horrors? No? I don't know if I've just made that up. <laughs> okay, last two packages, I promise. So these are the books I bought on Amazon. I remember what one of them is, but I actually don't remember what the other one is. So let's open these. Oh, of course. So I bought Zodiac, if, if you've been subscribed to me, you'll know my obsession with Zodiac Academy right now. So I've got Zodiac Academy, The Awakening, which is as told from the boys, because that was actually the last book that I didn't have. So I've managed to pick that up. Oh, I don't know. I have no space for this on my shelf. So I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm very excited to have this in my hands and excited to read it. I'm not sure exactly where in the series you're supposed to read it. I got up to book three and I did stop just because I need to get through some of my other TBR, but happy to have that in my hands because I know that these covers are going to be going out of print. Well, not out of print, they're changing the covers. So, you, well, yeah, these covers would be going out of print, but not the books themselves, don't worry. And then I know what this is. This was a bit of an impulsive buy from me. So this, that is 
is really well packaged for Amazon, I have to say, is When the Moon Hatched. Now, I actually have the fairy loot edition to this, but I had to get this because basically the hardback for this is normally about 17, 18 pounds. I literally went onto Amazon one day, just, I was gonna say randomly, I'm on Amazon every single day looking at books, but I went on and they had the hardback on there for six pounds 20. So I just grabbed it. And I also think it's a really pretty cover. Um, I haven't read it yet. Oh, wow, look at the map. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I really like this cover as well, but I do have the fairy loot cover to it. Let me show you. So this is the fairy loot edition, which is incredible with the sprayed edges. And the artwork in the fairy loot one is incredible. And then that's what the, uh, the hard back is like. But obviously in the back of my mind, I knew that I didn't want to ruin this when I was reading it. So when I saw that you could get the original cover, which I do still really love, I think they are both just as beautiful. Then I decided to pick it up. That is just a story of my life, isn't it? Having two copies of the same book when I haven't even read it yet. That's quite a lot of books. I need to find some space for all these books now. I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to go into town. I've got ignore all of that i need to take that to the recycling because that's all the boxes that those books came in but anyway so i've got fresh added nola leggings on these are in the shade coffee bean they are my favorite leggings ever i bought three new pairs recently black graphite gray and coffee bean but i thought they would go with the color scheme i've got going on this jumper is zara and this trench coat is from motel rocks please ignore how creased it is it's one of those it's one of those coats that no matter what you do it creases i'm not going to be in town for long so i think i'm just gonna grin and bear it and just go in no i feel like maybe i should iron it on it before i go these are literally my favorite uggs ever i love them but i feel like maybe not with a trench coat okay yeah, converse are on i feel like they go with the outfit so that's what we're wearing secured the matcha i'm so so excited i also went to gales which if you don't know about gales you need to get to know i don't know whether it's like a bit of, it's obviously a uk thing it's like a bakery i don't know where i don't know whether it's just like down south or whether they do them everywhere but honestly i'll show you what i got when i get home this is the most elite bakery you could ever go to ever and then i've got my matcha oh, i'm so excited i need to drink it now just quickly oh my god that's so good if anyone's curious how I get it, I get oat milk and then four pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You know, you've just wanted something for so long and it's finally here. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's go home. You'll be pleased to know I did not buy a single book, but I was obsessed with the fantasy section in Waterstones today. Like... I literally was sat there with my legs crossed for about 20 minutes just I nearly bought so many B. Schwab books but I was like no you need to just read one first to decide if you even like her writing style because I've got Vicious and A Dark Shade of Magic and I just need to start I just need to read them first but it's the fact that I have incomplete series on my shelf that was annoying me and I was like maybe I should just complete the series but I held off and I didn't get any so I hope you're proud of me I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back because that's just that is such growth from me and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Return from town with zero books, but my matcha and my gales. So I actually did get a cheese straw, but I ate it in the car on the way home <laughs> because it's like gone two o'clock and I hadn't eaten yet. So I need to show you guys this. This is the um, this is their mozzarella sun-dried tomato and pesto for ketchup. It is literally 
the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. Oh my God, it's just amazing. It doesn't even look that good there. It's honestly incredible. You're my focaccia, aren't you? <laughs> Are you gonna say hello to everyone? Do you want the matcha? Incredible. I'm a very, very happy girl right now. <laughs> so the next thing I need to do is I need to sort out my Kindle. So I've got some Kindle stickers. If anyone's curious where I get my Kindle stickers from, I get them from Etsy. There's so many really, really cute like independent little shops on Etsy that make the best stickers so you can really personalize and get your exact favorite books and your favorite quotes and everything. So I've got quite a few. Let me just grab them. So these are all my Kindle stickers that I have that I need to put onto my Kindle. And then what I do is I just put a clear case. Oh my God, it's so dirty. Don't even look at that, I need a new case. Um, I have had it for like a year to be fair, but yeah. So I'm gonna pick my favorite stickers to put on, but I can't. So this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, so that's definitely going on. I think that should go up there like that. Then I think I need to get my Akatol one back on there because I'm well and truly am just loving fantasy at the moment. This one is a great one as well. This says why choose book club. <laughs> Credence absolutely must be on there. I feel like if we slot that in like there. The thing is, this Akatar sticker is so big, so I'm not sure how we're going to do this. The devil's not... Oh, no, but this... This is the quote from Dominic King in Exodus from the Ravenhood trilogy. So I feel like I want to put that up there somewhere. How's the weather parks? So that definitely needs to go in there. That could probably go over there somewhere. I'm just going to like put them down and then rearrange. And then the Devil's Night one, because obviously it's literally coming up to Devil's Night in real life anyway. So that absolutely needs to go on there. And then I've got a couple other ones, cute ones like, I like my memory grey. Uh, emotionally attached to fictional characters. This is a cat and mouse one. This is Zade Meadows with my hockey romance era. I'm really not though, so that's definitely not going on there. These are the ones that I have feeling right now. I mean, this is, this could, we'll see, we'll see. It's a little bit crowded. It's a little bit crowded, but I physically couldn't be without certain ones. It's the Akatar sticker that takes up all the space. I'm actually going next to try to find a smaller one. Didn't realize it was going to be so big. My pop socket, if anyone's curious, was from Amazon. Got this on Amazon, which I really like it because it was it's giving dark romance vibes, which is, as you well know, a piece of me. <laughs> I started Restitution last night, which is the third book in the Edge of Darkness trilogy. This is, if I could put pick top three dark romance series, this is definitely in there. It'd be Devil's Night, the Edge of Darkness trilogy, and I don't even know, so don't make me up. Don't, don't, don't make me answer that. But I just thought I'd do a quick reading update. I think I got about 100 and something pages into it last night and first of all I've never known pain like it. The only other series that's generally bought my heart such pain is the Magnolia Park series but however this is a completely different genre. This is obviously wildly darker and spicier and well obviously it's dark romance but this is on the dark dark side of dark romance but in terms of like emotional trauma and pain whilst reading a book it is on par with Magnolia Parks but it's so 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 good and if you are a dark romance reader and you don't mind your dark romances being very trigger heavy and um, so just be aware then I would definitely recommend this series it's just absolutely amazing and I'm blown away by it and I cannot wait to read I read Little Stranger as well by Lee Rivers and I really liked that I think she's very fast becoming one of my autobi authors favorite authors I'm just this is incredible this series absolutely incredible so this will be coming in a upcoming vlog where I'm reading it's doing how many pages can I read in a week you'll see me reading this series in that so There'll be lots of reading updates in that. So the last thing I need to do is tidy up my bookshelves a bit because I've got books everywhere. Like even look at this. Just what is going on up here? This needs sorting out. This book needs to go into my other bookshelves. Wait until you see the chaos behind these shelves, behind this door. It's not a door, what do you call it? What's it called? It's a sliding wardrobe. So we're behind the wardrobe door. Anyway, that was painful. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. That needs to go there.
gonna wrap the vlog up here guys because I've managed to finish everything that I'd set out to do today which is insanely satisfying I don't know if you're like me but I on my days off I have to write lists and I like to tick them off as I go along and sometimes I use all colourful pens and highlighters and it just gets a bit silly but I've ticked off my list I'm very happy I now need to pack to go to London so I'm going out in London tomorrow so I'm going to get that sorted let me know if you like this kind of style of content I can always do more of this like daily vlogs spend the day with me and things like that but obviously bookish girl edition but don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming content thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video